Hi guys. <coughs> um, thought I'd just start off and go through what I've got uh, planned for today. Not a lot, as it is getting late. But I have a light on the subject that would help. Um, when I get that cat litter cleaned up off the floor, because of shit bag down there likes to um, kick it out of his tray for some reason. Ah. I need a bag of cat litter as well. Hopefully when I get paid Thursday, Sainsbury's will have some in and I can go grab some and give that a proper clean out. Um, then I'm going to put the vacuum cleaner up the side there out of the way and move this back up here out of the way so I can... Uh, do something with it, or I might just take it outside tonight, stick it at the end of the block, I'm sure someone will nab it because it's in good condition. One or the other, I'll get rid of it one way or the other. Um, that's got to be cleared. Oop. I was having a bit of an experiment last night, because every year when I go to Mum's for Christmas, I can never sleep. So I sort of end up sitting there all night with the TV on, or the laptop on, or both, you know, while they're all asleep upstairs. I might manage an hour or something. Um, I think I've figured out on um, why. No fan. As odd as that may sound, as you know, I sleep with a fan. All year round, that fan is going. Um, so I'm thinking, maybe, I'm just too used to the... Not only the sound of the fan, the hum, as well as feeling a breeze from it as well. So, what I'm going to do, when I go to Mum's Christmas Eve, I'm going to take my little USB fan. Because, one of these um, phone chargers, you know, the ones with the USB socket on, will run it. I've already tried it, I don't know why I'd never thought of this before. <laughs> So uh, I could, when I'm laying on the floor trying to get some sleep, I can uh, plug that in, and hopefully the hum from that will um, at least allow me to get a few hours sleep. I hope that's the plan. Um, I'm nearly at the end of a CD that I've been listening to, Fine Young Cannibals, 1980s group. I'm halfway through one song, and I've just got one left on the CD, then I might put something else on. Um, I wanted to get some work done on this, I might do something to it later. Um, but I'm not going to be able to afford the cables, not now anyway, because what I've got left has got to last me. I don't actually know what I've got left in my pocket, to be honest. I need to go and get some coke. That's about it. Oh, and some gravy granules. For dinner. Um, got two pound coins there and some shrapnel. Okay, I've got enough there. Yep, I went out this morning and I got myself a loaf of bread. Some Heinz sandwich bread, which is absolutely lovely. Um, the other thing I've got to work on regarding diet is um, shrinking my portions that would actually help as well. But I didn't have anything high in sugar this morning. I had a couple of um, mother rice puddings. But that will be it for sweet stuff today. I will just cook for dinner later this evening. And that will be it. But like I said, I want some gravy granules. But, uh, oh, and at some point this evening, I might do it before I cook dinner go on my power walk. That's going to be done every day. See, if I had a job, that wouldn't be a problem, because I'd be active all day. Um, which, uh, in a month or so, all going well, I will have one. Well, technically I've got one, but I don't start for a few months, and I haven't signed any contracts or anything yet, so... It's still in the planning, we've still got to sort the um, unit out, which we won't be moving into for a few weeks yet. Um, I'm not 
It looks quite dry over there tonight. It's quite bright. Anyway, what have I got to do? Yeah, I just want to turn the camera on and make the um, first segment of the video. Um, I don't know where to put these. I've got to find a home for both of these. I'm going to keep them in the um, tubes for the time being. I need shelves. <laughs> I need more shelves. Could stick another one, another row, right across there, but I mean, I could move speaker right to the end. Or even, by myself, I don't know. I'll think of something. At least one more. Ooh. Let's go in yellow. I don't want that to go yellow. I might have to find some replacement ladders and uh, get some hydrogen peroxide. Which is basically pure bleach. <laughs> um, I've tried it, you know, bleaching a, a bottle of bleach mixed with a bit of water. It doesn't have the same effect. Um, I've got to keep swapping arms because I had the um, flu jab in this one yesterday. And it has bruised my arm. And it hurts right up the top here. As well as a dodgy elbow, so I'm not having much fun with this arm today. That's why um, I may not do much with the Saracen, but I would like to get it something done on it. And I may... I was tempted to take it downstairs, but I don't think my arm's going to cope with that today. Um, just take it downstairs and either lock it up to the trailer or... No, actually, no, I won't. That's asking for trouble. Um, it might just be like a frame, but someone would nick it just for the parts. Um, yeah, I might see what I can get done on it. Like, um, I could put a chain on it, I could swap the um, pedal this side over. Um, and I may actually put it out on the landing, out of the way, for the time being, just so I've got a bit of room in here. Uh, my wooden stool here, ooh. ooh, plans for this, stay tuned, I may make the video for this later. It's going to require a plug on that end, and plug straight in at 240 volts, and I'll show you what happens when you do that with the Christmas tree bulb. The only thing is, Last time I did that, I must have been about 13 years old. I'm now 32. <laughs> and uh, I'll just make sure I aim that. Because last time I did that, obviously being 13, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I was just playing around and experimenting. And I decided to cut one of these out of a set of Christmas lights with a bulb in and put a 240 volt plug on the end of this and plug it in. Not the best idea I've ever had. Fun, but not the best idea. And it will mean I'm going to be killing a few bulbs, but that doesn't matter either. It's going to be fun. <laughs> anyway, I suppose I'd better shut the camera down and uh, get on with some shit. So, talk to you later. Hi guys. I've been rather busy. Nemo's asking for his dinner, so I'm going to do that in a minute. As you can see, I've had a clean up. I've just got to move the extension lead. Uh, put that charger away. Uh, wow. Don't tell me AVG cleaned that that fast. Okay. I'm listening to another couple of CDs, but I've got bored of that for now, so... Those drawers I'm going to put up there. Once I've uh, cleared some room up there, the whole lot needs cleaning and sorting out, so I'm going to do that in a minute. Um, what's the time? Nearly quarter to six. Uh, I don't want to do dinner just yet. Ideally, I want to go and get a bath before I have dinner. Um, and I've decided that while I'm in it, oh, sorry, man, man. I'm just caught his paw. Just, <laughs> just missed it, bless him. Right. Yeah. That's the second thing that's flew off my back of the bin. 
Right. Where was I? Okay, I've decided on potatoes, a few sausages, and some veg for dinner. Oh dear me. With a little bit of wind added on top. the amount of rubbish I chuck out and I'm only a single man. Single man living here and I I could easily fill the recycle bin two or three times a week. But then again, unlike mum, I recycle properly. Ish. <laughs> and there's still a few things that get thrown in the main bin but I'd say 99% of anything recyclable does go in the recycle bin. Because I'm good like that. Oh, I am. Right. I should have a dustpan and brush somewhere and I can't find it. I had one down in the shed, which I broke because I stood on it. So that went in the bin. <laughs> I need to get another one for the shed. And I had one for up here and uh, I can't find the one for up here disappeared. Uh, well, I was pissing around with these, but I'm not going to bother, I don't think. I've just um, sorted out the toolbox. Um, by sword, I mean just basically laid everything in the main section nice and flat so I could get the tool tray in and the lid to close. But, uh, I haven't really done a lot apart from uh, zipping across to Sainsbury's to get the gravy granules. Pardon me. Um, yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to tackle those shelves next. There's not a torch up there, and I don't know whether to take that to mum's or not. But um, I've now got one, two, three, four over there. Got a bit of thunder in here. Three of which are, were mine. Stepdad's mag light doesn't have any batteries, so uh, if there's any when I get paid Thursday, I'm not banking on it, but if there is any in QD's Thursday when I get paid, I might grab a couple of cheap packs so I give them another one to use, because they're always handy to have. I haven't got any uh, B cell batteries to take over myself. It's not a common one these days. Um, every, uh, most things just seem to um, seem to use either double or triple A when it comes to um, 1.5 volt batteries. Got my um, laptop bag out ready for next week to put my laptop and every other bit. Little bit and bits and there. Uh, try again. To put my laptop and all the other bits and bobs in that I want. Got the tongue in a right old twist there, didn't I? Uh, oh yeah, I pulled that drawer out because I just wanted to sort through it. There's little sorts in there. Ooh, there's a battery in there. Uh, right. I've got the friggin' hammer. Never mind. Right. He's got those bottles to tip out and put in the recycle bin. A few of the crim below lights on. Uh, let's put the ceiling ones on. That's what I like. It's because that was good. Pink. I've got ceiling lights. And if I hit this one, I've got a row of lights. Yay! Right, I'm going to disappear. Uh, I would like to make a start on this, to be honest, at some point. Get some... something done on it. Oh crap, I need the hexagon keys and I left them downstairs. I suppose I could pull the, um, pedal off this side. The whole crank. And, uh, swap that for one that matches-ish. <laughs> a lot better than one black, one silver, anyway, it's in the box there. What I want to use. 
somewhere. Yep, that's it, that's right. There. Right. We get cracking with these shells and uh might cook dinner and have that first, I don't know. Actually Go drop one in the toilet, do these shelves, bath, then I'll cook dinner. So I'll probably uh come back when I've done those shelves. Okay. I think I'm just about done for today. Um Did I not feed you? You sure did. Anyway, I've stuffed my beak. That's now going to be my sweet treat of the future. Either those or corner yogurts. Uh, ouch. Yeah, it's proof I cooked. Dirty pans. <coughs> Oops. Lift that on. Still hot water in that kettle and that boiled. I must have boiled that a good hour and a half ago. It's holding the heat well. Oh, lovely breeze here. I don't know why, but it feels so warm up here. It's been mild outside. I mean, I've, I've actually only worn my gloves twice so far this season because it's been so mild. Oh. I just want, just want to get to this window over here. I'll pop that one open for a bit. Oh, I can hear kids outside. Hmm. Right. One day I'll take that down out of the way. Can't even remember. I can't even remember if I've done a video on that or not. There's a swinter. Actually, yeah, I do believe I did include that in one of my videos. My dinky little swintex. No idea where it come from. I mean, I can't remember where I got it from. Oh, right. Yep. I've sorted out all up there. It looks a lot tidier, doesn't it? Or at least a bit more organised. Uh, oh, pardon me. Whoops. I've even pulled that desk out and cleaned up all underneath it. And all the junk, and I've even cleaned up the desk while I was at it, as you can see. Just got to do this one next. <laughs> We're getting there. My arm is still killing me. The nurse has bruised it. I what she did, but I bloody hurt. Bish. The only Christmas card I've got this year so far. All the way from Australia. And I have posted one back. I just hope it gets there. It'll be the second year I posted one, but I'm not sure if it got there last year. Oh. Facebook is quiet. I'm just pretty much killing time so I can, uh, before I get in a bath, or let my dinner go down and whatnot. Oh dear. <sighs> My drawer full of uh, precision tools and electrical tools. You're lucky you didn't use your claws. Um, up there is a good idea. I like that idea. Might as well make use of the shelf space. I fed you. I know I fed you. Need you for 
Mm. My granddad used to do it. Maybe he's in the museum. And dad. When I was a little boy, dad used to do the same thing. Get out of it. I can't remember if that cable on the floor down there is the fault one. No. Oh, it's disappeared up here as well. What do I do with those? I had some cables on here. I kept on there deliberately. There was, oh, I found them. I buried them. There's one. I've got to connect that up to um, speakers. Now, I did notice in QDs they've got trays of assorted um, heat shrink. So I'm going to go and get some of that. <laughs> when money allows. I'm losing hair from somewhere because I keep eating it. I think it's from the tash. Ouch. I'm G Tech charging up. Uh. So I've got that RCA plug attached to that one, but I'll read the with. I'll try my hand at a bit of soldering. I think solder the wires together and make a proper joint, and then um, heat shrink them. And then, then perhaps wrap them in some PVC tape, so we'll do a nice secure repair. Yeah, I like that idea. The amplifier I'm going to be using requires an RCA connector. Like so. And I could just strip these wires back and. Uh, I don't think I want to strip too much back, to be honest. But yeah. I don't think I've got a third hand, though. Uh, I used to, but I think I got rid of it. I didn't give it the stepdad. I might have gave it the stepdad, actually. Though, I do have that soldering iron up there. That does have built-in clips to hold things, so I could use that one. Or at least use the stand, at the very least. So much stuff crammed in here, it's all like out of sight, out of mind. You know, you can close the door and pretend it's not there. <laughs> Bag of bits there to go down. But once so late, I'd have um, perhaps fed some cables on here or tried to get that off. Actually, I could still try and get that off. Though it might help to have air in the tyres. I could. I've got the hand pump up here. I could pump some air into the tyres. Well, that hacksaw's got to go back down. Don't get cheap hacksaw, or at least don't get cheap hacksaw blades. Because I thought I'd save and get some cheap hacksaw blades once, and uh, a few strokes, and they go snap. So I gave up with them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, cheap isn't always just as good. It can be worse. But, some cheap things can be really good. It just depends on the makers and the way it's manufactured and who it's manufactured by get off there etc etc um, I haven't heard from Mum so I don't know if I'm going to hers tomorrow or not unless she wants to leave it for Monday again when, uh, when she gets some cash I can't remember I don't know I'll talk to her later when she gets online but this bike is just sitting here doing absolutely jack and uh oh I've got the um pump bracket to take off I don't think I want that left on there I've got a light bracket to take off reflector I can leave on I would like to get that front reflector off somehow but um it's an iron screw bolt um and it's all rung off so no iron key will um lock into it properly so I can't get it off it just spins round and round so 
Mm. I'm not, not get it off somehow. So I don't want to cut into the um, plastic reflector if I can help it, because I'd like to save that um, bracket, but the plastic reflector bracket. If I have to cut it, I'll have to cut it. So I would like to keep the original reflectors if possible, because I've still got them like, some somewhere. Could be in that pile of crap down there, I don't know, in some way. Uh, some very extra light on the subject. So what have I actually got here? I've got a gear cable. I think that might only be long enough as a front cable. I rolled up a load of this, it's still usable. I don't know whether to put this back on the ladies' bike or just to redo it all in black. Because that's still usable. Oh, I might as well reuse what I can. There's a brake cable, but I don't know if it'll be long enough for the rear. It is mostly just brake cables, I think. See if I've got one long enough for the front, at least. I could set front brake up. I might even be able to feed in the um, cable for the front gears as well. You know, that'd be some thing. Although it would help if I go and get my Allen keys from the shed and the... Uh... Oh, I've got the cable adjusters on these. Oops, I must have took them off. Oh yeah, I did take them off. Is there a spare pair? I... I'm sorry, the left one is a spare one I had. I think. Did I replace the right one? It was one of them I replaced. Because it was knackered. I'm pretty certain it was the left one I replaced and got the right one to work. That's in the wrong gear anyway. I had to manually um, rotate the thing on there and get that to go down. Hopefully when it's under tension from the spring of the dryer it will um, operate fine. I hope. <laughs> right. I'm sort of wandering around aimlessly now. Uh, just got that little speaker up there, I don't know what to do with that. I do a one in the kitchen but then I've got to piss around trying to feed cable through a stud wall, and I don't really want to do that. Jingle bells. Tanks pipe enjoying Christmas. I'm sure I can hear an alarm going off somewhere. Yeah. Right, I'll unravel that cable and see if that will reach the arse end of the bike. I don't think it will, actually. So if I can actually get at least two done, then I've made some progress. Mm. Alright, I'm going to do that, so... Yep, bits of break. Um, the spring broke on this one. Which doesn't matter. I've got plenty of spares. Um, there's supposed to be a uh, long bit come off of here, which locks against that little peg here. I um, also had trouble with one of the rear ones. That one's set up. That one's all nice and springy, springy. So are the two rear ones now. This one I had to take off and do a little repair, because um, this little peg on the spring was bent outwards. So the, um, which was causing it, I don't know if I can get it in the light, to slip out of the hole that is in this piece, there's a little hole that that pin goes into, and that was causing it to slip out, but uh, with a pair of pliers I've managed to fix that, so tomorrow I will go into my brake, or my box of um, assorted brake bits and uh, 
steal one of these. Is it snapped? <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can get that one done. I, I wasn't going to, but I am going to change the brake pads because uh, I don't know. I think I'll leave the brake pads in, but change the bits that go on it just to clean it up a bit. Um, I've started to clean up the brakes. That's why I've got the steel wool there. one on the front, but I can't do much about that at the moment. Oh, I did see, if, you know, measure up roughly the um, gear cable that I had up here, uh, and it won't fit the front gears, it's too short, so I'll have to go and get another one from the shed as well. I've got that one, but that's for a three-speed, so ain't no good. Ain't no good for these gears. Uh, at least the brakes are set up, but not actually as much as I was hoping to get done. But, uh, never mind. I'm getting too good at this, look. First hexagon key I picked out of the box. Get rid of this. Don't even know if I've got a little hand pump that'll fit on it, to be honest. Table adjusters. One missing out of here for the. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow yet, so I don't know if I finish or carry on with this. I should say tomorrow or or what? I ain't got a clue. Let okay. Yes, I've got the top off because I've worked up for it. There we go. Cables in here, did I? I don't think I did. I think it's just out as. Oh, there is a cable in here. What is it? That's a brake cable, but I've got a feeling that's going to be too short. It'd be great if it isn't, because the more money I can save, the better. Anything else in here? Because I wanted to take this bag down, but. I'm going to do a few bits and bobs on this, and there's no point because I'll need outers. Another cable. Probably too bloody short now, in my look. No, wrong calipers. in there. Right. Hmm. See if any of these cables are going to be long enough for a rear brake. Probably not. Let's put you that way around just for the moment. I can tell this one's far too short already without even putting it up against the frame. You've got this one with a big kink in the end of it. I don't know why I've got that at the end of it. I think most of my cables I've got now is, uh, you know, get me out of the pickle. Spares are uh, two. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah, it's too short as well. Ah, poo! I think I'm going to have to go 
spend four quid on a couple of cables. Oh well. Well, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Oh well. Sort of uh, shot that. I will bring my cables up tomorrow as well when I go down to the shed. If I'm here tomorrow. If not, it will be Monday. Anyway, as always, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!